James Wannis, we have this wine next called Coleros Times Red Times 2017. I'll tell you all about it, so stay tuned. So this is a fantastic red wine. It's coming from Alentejo in Portugal. I'll show you the map right here where this region is. It's a handsome region. It's east of uh, Lisboa, and I think the wines are sterlingly beautiful. So you're gonna get red blends from this region, and I'll show you the label up close. Uh, very simple label, and I'll show you on the side here. I actually kept the, the uh, cork in because I wanna show you on the side. That's where the side panel is. It's actually on the actual side itself. So I like here because you can see the certification. This is from Alentejo. I'll read a bit of the copy right here. Now this is a 14% ABV wine. This is 50% Alicante Boucher, 50% Aragonish. So on the back copy here, it says that this is again made from the wine grapes I just mentioned, fermented in, with indigenous yeast to express the best of our vineyards and soils, aged for one year in used barrel. So when I looked at the text sheet, it showed this was Coleros times red times 2017. Coleros times Tinto times 2017. Tinto obviously is going to be red. So here is a really great region. I was on a tasting, Zoom tasting, and uh, it was really talking about the new program that's being unrolled in uh, Alentejo. It's called the WASP. Now this stands for the Wines of Alentejo Sustainability Program. So it's fitting in line with many sustainability programs around the planet. So there's no marking yet, but there will be, I believe, at the end of the year, at the end of 2020. So I think there's just something so handsomely polished about the Alicante Boucher from Alentejo. So I don't know what the factors are that make it so unique and more, I would say, more defined, a lot more of a, a serious grape nature. Here in the U.S., Alicante Boucher was utilized because it was a wine grape that you utilize during prohibition specifically because it had a high yield per acre or hectare. Now it's a very different viewing of this grape here, Alicante Boucher. My guess is, and I don't know this for sure, I'm trying to do more research to find out, but there's a thinning of crop to make for a much more, um, I would say delicate, I'd say much more interesting and complex wine grape that you get on the harvest itself and then it makes its way into the glass. So more my wine glass, and then I'll talk about the vinification of this wine. The grapes are hand harvested, transported to cellar where they're de-stemmed. Fermentation takes place in a stainless steel tank between 26 and 27 degrees centigrade, which is approximately 79 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Five day maceration, malolactic fermentation takes place in the tank. Wine is racked into oak barrels for 12 months and neutral oak barrels. Now this is a just handsome, gorgeous, splendid wine where it's um, such a beautiful wine here. And um, you know, I just have such great fondness for Alicante Boucher and the blend itself, right? So in this pomegranate, tart red cherry, dried leaves, suede, and uh, violet notes. And next, the palate characterization. So beautiful acidity on the front palate. Notes of pomegranate, black cherry, peppercorn, and anise. This wine is 92 points out of 100 points. Down below, more information on this producer. Questions and comments can be listed there. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much. In the meantime, between videos, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress, as well as my podcasts, which are on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and thank you for your support. Stay tuned for more. Sante.